The penalty was indeed against Saskatchewan. The Riders will punt again. Baker's last punt was out at the four-yard line. That'll be interesting to see where the Eskimos wind up with it the second time. Well ahead of the four, obviously, if they hold on to the ball. This is Hunter. Past the 40. He's 40 yards further than he would have been. Now, little things are really haunting Saskatchewan. Now, Ellingson ran for a touchdown, holding penalty, called it back. Gary Lewis had a big first down catch, couldn't catch the ball, though. And now, illegal procedure cost them 40 yards in field position. And you've got a long hold off season to think about those types of things. You only get so many chances in a game. It's very true. Make the most of them, especially when you're playing against a very good football team. Eskimos out at their 44 with a three-point lead. They pitched to Reggie Taylor, and he cuts it back for a yard, two. Lost the ball. It's bouncing around. Two Eskimos are on it. That was a pinball. Hunter ends up with the football, but that ball came down. It almost looked like one of the Saskatchewan players is going to go down on it. And all of a sudden, it popped out. You get a good look right like here. Good cut right back up inside Hector Pache. There goes the ball. Jerson, super job of stripping it. <laughs> then all of a sudden, like somebody teed it up and kicked it. That's exactly what happened. The ball was kicked, and fortunately for the Eskimos, right to where Saskatchewan Rough Riders weren't. It's a gain of a couple. And waiting much too long. If you can't find a receiver by that time, throw it away and avoid the sack. He couldn't, didn't. And the Eskimos will have to punt. I think if you're going to draw it up, this is the ideal way to contain your quarterback. Everyone's in a lane. There's no place to go upfield. And then the outside ends, or the ends that come in, this time Goldsmith from the quarterback's right comes in, comes in from behind, almost like he's out of sight a little bit, so he doesn't seem to be as much of a threat, or Ham doesn't see him as that. The Eskimos and Jerry Cork would like something better than 35 or 36 yards per punt. He is facing a bit of a wind. They won't like this any better than the others. Except there will be no return. The ball goes out at the 36-yard line. Saskatchewan takes it there. Flag down, way back. And holding is indicated against Edmonton. Court's kick from 33 yards without a bounds. We're going to have a flag on the play. Something else we'll watch as the game goes on for the punters. Uh, the field, you know, they're always kicking the ball in between the hash marks. They're going to start to slip a little bit. Yeah, I saw Jerry Cork get dirty on that play. <laughs> he looked really upset to me. <laughs> you know, we talked about being able to push off as an offensive lineman or receiver. This big right there, that big step, all the power for his kick and the hip is coming through there. And it's starting to get a little dicey out there. Yeah, he's going to have to get that uniform washed. There's no doubt. Only the back part, though. <laughs> well, although that punt wasn't a good one, the uh, riders will ask him to do it again because he has to do it from 10 yards further back and because they had no opportunity for a return that time. So this is the percentage call. They would have had it at the 36. So we'll compare that to the riders' point of scrimmage after they get the ball. One bouncer to Corrick. Oh, he wanted to run or pass, but decided he should kick it, and there's what the penalty did to the Eskimos. Flip side of the...